How's his tailbone, by the way? Did it finally heal? Oh, yeah, a while back. How's your coccyx? That's still healed. Got a beard? So it's kind of curved. You grow a still. beard. <laughs> I think you're gonna be stuck with that curve for a while. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. Oh, Rick. And you follow us <laughs> on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 Juice. Thank you for some patrons. Drinkers. Follow us on Twitter, 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 us on Instagram and Twitter, you would have known about Andrani being here, but if you're finding out for the first time, then you clearly don't care about that extra juicy content we talk about all the time. Nope. Uh, but yes, we are, the new Amazon film came out just this weekend, I believe. I believe it was Saturday, our time. Uh, Sardar Udam had a great trailer. Yeah, uh, we love that trailer. And it's directed by Sujit Sakar. Uh, I believe it's also... Oh, I thought he produced it as well. He didn't. Uh, Seal Kumar produced it as well. Uh, and then starring a bunch of people, but your main star is Vicky, Vicky Kershaw, Kershaw. Uh, is, is the star of this home. But it's a, it's essentially, an, I'll read the Indian revolutionary uh, Udam Singh, who's better known for, his, uh, for the assassination of Michael O'Dwyer in London, who was behind the, uh, I can't say that word, but the massacre in, in Amritsar, uh, in 1919. So, if you haven't watched it, it's on Amazon. Go watch it. Come back. And Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Yeah, go watch it. Unless you're, um, like, certain anything that I know I'll have to say about this that could make your expectations too high. Because this is one of the best and most important films, period. Forget India. What if you're, what if you're uh, like, a, a Winston Churchill fan? Yeah. <laughs> um, got a lot to say, but when we talked about the trailer being so good... But did you like it? Trailers living up to the hype. Rick hated it. I knew The it. trailer was perfect when you consider what happens in this film and what they didn't show us in the trailer. Mm -hmm. It was really, really smart. I... This is one of... This is gonna... This is up there in terms of, like, for me... Someone was telling me, what do you like better, this or Hacksaw Ridge? I'd say, that's really hard to come by because they're both about as good. If this was an American film, I'd be jumping up and down and saying this should have multiple Oscar nominations. So are you supporting this for the Oscars so I, far of what's of what's been out so far? Without, this is the best film of the year I've seen. Nothing is a second. So this is a like, close second. So you think if today was the deadline... If today they, was the deadline, they should send this film. There's nothing else that's even remotely close to as good as this right now. Um, I don't agree on that. Um, I do agree; it's an absolute goddamn amazing film. Yep. So if you have if you haven't already watched it, that's our non-spoiler review. Just go watch it. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's extremely it's important. <laughs> very important. And and, it's, and it doesn't. We're not giving anything away before we go into the spoilers. But I, I will say this: obviously, it says in the description of it, and it's known from the the trailer as well, it's gonna cover the massacre of April 13th. Yeah. Uh, the only other depiction I've seen on that on film that was memorable to me, and it was prior to all of this, is the way it's depicted in the film Gandhi. Mm. Granted, that's a much bigger film in scope. It's telling all of Gandhi's life. Yeah. So it takes a much smaller place yeah. than it does here. And because of that, it doesn't get anywhere near the attention it deserves or the graphic attention it deserves like this one does. This one, in my opinion, does it justice. Yeah. Um, so spoilers should be coming now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Once again, that's our spoiler. It's, it's, it's incredible. a non-spoiler review. That's all you need to know. Um, I'm not. I don't have a ton of gripes with it. There's there's a few that I'll mention, but that's that's it's really it's 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 ninety nine percent great. <laughs> I, like for example, when Darkest Hour came up, uh, Gary Oldman. Uh, got the Oscar as he deserved. For, yeah. Because that's that's what that movie is really about. It's about his performance. Uh, but it was the talk of award season as yeah. well. And Hacksaw got six nominations. But mm -hmm. I, I think this film is way better than Darkest Hour. Mm -hmm. Oh, a thousand percent. Way better than Darkest Hour. Yeah. Um, but anyways, so let's... Uh, I don't even know where to start I know. with this film. Because... Did you watch it with Johnny? 
No. No, she didn't, I, she didn't watch it. I was wondering, because no. we have a different perspective, obviously. And Johnny, who's an Indian, probably grew up with this story, knows a bunch this of would, background None information. of this would be new to her. She would just yeah. be able to tell if the execution did justice. Yeah, we came in with, obviously, an American... The only thing, very sadly, when we were in Amritsar, the alley that this happened in was closed. It was closed that because day. Because we were going to go into it and, and, and just we experience it and, and pay respects and all that kind of stuff. But they were I don't know what they were doing. Restoration... Whatever. So we got to stand um, at the gate and look in. stand at the gate. Um, but, yeah, so um, that's basically the knowledge we had of it. What we were told then, right? Yeah, and my, my having... Well... And really dark. It, it just did. And we, we had been told early in the channel when we had seen some things. And I don't even remember when the first one was where we had seen something about the massacre. And obviously, like I said, I had known about this massacre when, from when I had seen Gandhi. Yeah. But I didn't know all of the surrounding story about it, mm -hmm. uh, nor, you know, and coming into this, it really does help. It's not a prerequisite by any by any stretch, but it does help if you have some understanding about the history of India and partition and yeah. what was going on at the time. And yeah, Corbin did a story in a tweet about Winston Churchill. Here in America, he, he has been lauded as one of the greatest guys ever in Western society. In Britain. And, 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 and in, in Britain, Britain. Yeah. yeah. And there's... Uh, thankfully, in the credits, they mention this because it needs to be remembered that four million people died because of a man-made yeah. famine created by him. Yep. Um, and he was a racist on top of that. Yes, he was. Uh, <laughs> like, and, like hardcore. It's yeah. bad when you actually dig in. Like, yeah. Well, we and, weren't taught. And it was also, really sad. like, if you didn't know in World War II what we, the Americans, did in collaboration with Winston Churchill by bombing Dresden, yeah. Germany. Yeah which had no military presence. It was all civilians yeah. and it was specifically targeted in the exact same way they were specifically targeted. And you know what else this has caused me to rethink? Mm. Cause I've had a lot of stupid babies talk to me about this and say, you need to really relook at the necessity of and the barbarism of our two nuclear bombs. Oh no, those were all terrible. And whether that was an act of war or if that was an act of, of, of the obliteration of civil rights and not all things are fair in love and war. That's why we have war crimes. Nope. And but, and but watching this film war crime. caused me to go back and reassess and go, you know what? Yeah, that shouldn't happen. Most Just of, like that shouldn't happen. Of, I see this and, and Hiroshima and Nagasaki now as being mm -hmm. comparable in terms of human travesties that civilians should have never had to have experienced. One more thing, I don't want to actually get into the review, sorry, this just stirs up a lot of emotion. Yeah. And as it should, it's, it it's should. That's what I think it a great should. film does. Yeah. Most of what we're taught is everywhere, I think, does this. <laughs> Indian schools will do this, they'll skew their history to obviously do that. Whoever's British, ruling teaches the history. English. Yep. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm only speaking as an American and what you're taught, it's, it's, it's laughable. It's basically footnotes that they want you to know. It's why, it's, it's the same with what we were taught. We were taught growing up that the Native Americans were savages mm -hmm. here. And that everything that was done to them was either by disease or justifiable you wanna, annihilation of a people. Uh, uh, you wanna talk about somebody that would look evil, a ton of American presidents for what they did to millions upon millions upon millions of Native Americans. Yeah. I would like a film about that. Wow. Anyways, let's get on to the review. Yeah. Sorry, this Sorry. is not... <laughs> But this is what this kind this of film is supposed yeah. to do. Um, I gosh, I still don't know where to start. It's. The creme de la creme of this film is the last 45 minutes, I think, as you guys know. It's One, so funny. Yeah. I, right when I texted you. <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh, we were we, going we to do something late, earlier today, a uh, Skype uh, reaction. And he was like, <laughs> he said, I was like, when, when are you, you available? available? And he's like, I'm almost 45 minutes done with... Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, Udan. Yeah. Uh, Udan. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, go finish that. Do not stop. Do not stop there. <laughs> I literally, when you texted me, it was just about to start. Yeah, that might massacre. be one of the best cinematic periods in a film, uh, especially from India, that we've seen. Without question from it's India. Especially it is one of the best gruesome yes. war. Like, yes. that's what you want. That's what you get from, like, uh, great war films yes. or, or Schindler's List. Yes. Something that is horrific yes. that happens, and they do not pull the punches. No. So, spoilers. As, go as, watch it. Here as you shouldn't with this. Yeah. You mm -hmm. need to be... Because, obviously, the real thing was a thousand percent worse, worse than what we got. But they did a phenomenal job at making you extremely uncomfortable yeah. and showing the gruesome, barbaric, demonic... Whatever evil stuff that literally happened at yes. this place, and it was 
from the the um, uh, cinematography to the VFX. Yep, to makeup. The, thank you, who, I don't know if it was Amazon that gave you the money, but thank you for spending the money and making it how, that's, that's one of been our biggest gripes with like, cause obviously we know Indian films don't usually spend what American films do right. uh, on films. It's needed to it's show this. This story, especially a story like this. The, the makers who made this cared at every level. And yes, Amazon, thank you for putting as much money into this as you did because it was needed at every level. You uh, just could tell like, in the cinematography. Just like when we watched the trailer, there were multiple times in this where I just shook my head and went, wow. Because I was so thankful for the production team, for the art direction, for the yep. cinematography, yep. costuming, all of the hey, props and sets. For the white people. Yeah, you hired good <laughs> white actors. For the most part. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There was only there a, were a few, few that were a little eh. But the leads were all Great. solid. Yeah, they were they it was it was so refreshing. But back to the violence. Yes, go ahead. Back to the violence. I just wanted to mention that. I know you guys are waiting for that. This was this was one of those things where you kind of want to turn your eye away because it gets so graphic and you know it's a true story. I'm shoot the hand off. Oh yeah. That was gruesome but incredible. Needed. Incredible. Watching little children getting shot and their heads blown apart. Oh, it gave you such an awful feeling. My favorite cinematic moment that sums up this film, I wanted to screenshot it and you could turn it into a secondary movie poster, is the moment when he is in there that night mm -hmm. and he finds the little girl mm. and he says, Mother? Oh, yeah. And she comes to him and he's breaking down and as he's crying, she hugs him to comfort him. And it's just him down there and her holding him yep. with all of the dead bodies. Yep. Uh, that massacre sequence was on par at every level and impacted me cinematically and will be burned in my memory the way Hacksaw Ridge was yep. and in the way that the opening of D-Day is Saving in Saving Private Ryan. Ryan. Yep. This is that, yep. this is a masterpiece. Ma yep. For me, I use, I don't use that word because so many people use it say, so, oh, the masterpiece. This was a cinematic masterpiece as far as I'm concerned for this to tell this story. Yeah, I totally, and that's why I don't know where to start because like, we're just, we just got it. We haven't talked about Vicky. We haven't I talked know. about, we haven't talked about the direction, but man. And the score. The score behind Gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. The, just, that whole sequence was so incredible and so, so well perfect. done. It was perfect. No continuity um, errors. No, perfect. It, it, it was it was just, it brought out the emotions that you, you, you want in something, because you knew it was coming. Obviously, cause maybe if we were earlier on in our inner trip, we wouldn't know that was coming. Well, that's my hope, and I really want a lot of people to see this. Like Americans that don't know the story at all. I was thinking about this and thinking, I want, I want to watch this with the kids, I want to watch this with my mom, and I'm, I'm hoping they don't even know, I'm not even gonna say anything to them. Yeah. And when it happens, I want them to, I'm hoping they don't know and that they're shocked, flabbergasted, disgusted as they should be. And yeah. it, it reminded me of what uh, Mel Gibson said about the Passion of the Christ because everybody applauded him for depicting the crucifixion and the flagellation so realistically, which he, he should be. Yeah. But those that, anybody who knows about Roman crucifixion knows that what he also said is true. He said, well, you know, because some people said, wasn't it gratuitous? And he said, well, if you know anything about Roman crucifixion, I held back. Yeah. And that's the... That's what they did here, but they showed us enough to merit the heinousness of what this act was. And I'm, I'm glad it was on so Amazon well because I don't know what the stupid censor board would have done to this film. Yeah. Uh, oh, if this had been a theatrical release? I don't, wouldn't I'm, have been anything like this. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm glad we have the OTT platform. Hallelujah. You can go around that, but man, because everything from the, from the opening shot of this film to the very end, the cinematography by... Um, say his name. Yes, and forgive us for any mispronunciations. Avik Mokopadye was, I, it, I haven't seen obviously a lot of the award films for the Oscars this year because they're, they're not they're, out yet. They're right, just starting now. And the ones I have seen in India, this, I don't know what's beating this. And I'm not talking foreign film. I'm talking like regular cinematography. No, list. I, would, I can tell you right now the Oscar nominations this would get if this was released here as a, just an American film with big name American actors. VFX. It would get visual effects. It would get direction. It would get picture. It S would get sound. Set, sound, sound. It would get um, uh, production design, costuming. Mm -hmm. It would get um, makeup. Mm -hmm. It would get acting for Vicky Kashal. Yep. 
and it would get screenplay. It would get at least nine Oscar nominations, I believe. I 100% agree. As an American film. Uh, yeah, because everything... What score did you give this? It's on my all-time list. Yeah, okay. So yeah, It's, it's way over 100. Yeah. Because the importance level sends it off the charts, and there's nothing in it that doesn't get an over 95 yeah. for me in terms of its 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 uh, its score. Some of the smaller white acting roles yeah. got B pluses because yeah. they just were what they were. Yeah. But who cares? Yeah. At that uh, point, that's the only flaw, if you yeah. want to call it that. Um, the the way uh, sorry, I don't. Uh, Surjit, right? Oh my! Is that how you say his name? Yes, Surjit. Surjit Sarkar, who we've seen in a couple of his films. Now he did uh, uh, Pink and Pink. Piku. Oh, I, I don't know if he directed Pink. I think he. I think you're right. Produced. He Pink. directed Piku. He was involved with Pink, but he also did Galabo Satabo, which, even though we thought that film was kind of boring, there was nothing wrong with the filmmaking part of it. I think that's what we said, right? We did. Like it was like the acting was great, the the cinematography was beautiful, but it was just no. like we were bored. Right. This this is, and I'm about to give you, sir, the highest compliment I can give you because my favorite director of all time for me, who I believe has full mastery of the theatrical experience in terms of storytelling, evoke an emotion without placating to emotional ploys, yeah. and understands historical pieces and getting the history right, is this was on level with if Steven Spielberg had been asked to tell the story. Yeah. I think this is on the same level as any historical piece that Spielberg would put together. I, I just, my, 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 res we already knew he could direct yeah. actors. In, in, yeah. But a film on th uh, this scope, and uh, can we just talk for a second as well? The way they told the story. Oh, the, well, yeah, that's what I was gonna piece together, and right? Every single aspect we needed to know how they revealed it, when they revealed it, is for me the even highest level of mastery is the, the script. When I was in, in about 45 minutes in, I turned to Steph, I was like, this is so interesting how they're doing this. this how they're telling normally the story. Normally with like the story, you might start in the present and then you'll go, go back and then you'll catch up usually. That's usually how it goes, right? They'll yeah. do something like that. He did not care he was like, I'm gonna kind of piece this together. He's like, you're perfect. intelligent enough to kind of exactly kind of keep. I don't up need with to tell you this was three here. years ago. I like that you started off, especially from somebody who does not know what the end result is. They showed your lead is an assassin, right? And you're like, why? Why did he just kill that guy? Right. Why? That's not okay. Right. Why are you just going and killing? That's not the way to resolve things. And obviously you as Indians probably knew way before. Of course. And I figured that's what, what was going to happen. But coming from, if you know nothing about it, you're like... This is the way it should be told. Wait, yeah. he just assassinated somebody. Why did he do that? It turns out this man's basically evil. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that for me is a really important thing and why I'm so happy to see so many Brits involved with this. And why, you know, this weekend... I, I, I like the Halloween franchise, but Rich went and saw, uh, and Johnny and I were going to go see it with him, but we didn't have time oh, to get out of the new Halloween yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. He said it is pure, just, it's it's just one of the worst films ever. Oh, God. It's so bad. <laughs> but it got, it had a great weekend in the box office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, 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 we live in a world where people would rather sniff farts than sip cognac. <laughs> it seems because this is the cognac Yeah. and more money and attention should have gone to this this weekend than the Halloween drill. Totally agree. And, and, and the thing that I find most intriguing about this is because this didn't just give me insight to this event. This is a really important film to show to anybody in the West to help them have a shift in their Western imperialistic mindset mm -hmm. and recognize not all things you were told were an act of aggression or an act of terror against you and your allies was wrong. Mm -hmm because you've been taught those things from a perspective that is the victor's narrative. Yep. And the victor's narrative will always be slanted to make the victor the hero. Yeah. And that's why when I saw this, it reminded me of what Stupid Babies were telling me about Japan. Yeah. And I thought, okay, and where else have I missed out on those kinds of things? Most things. And I, yeah. it is my That's thing not you, because no, wherever American you live. society in general. And the same way that people outside of America hear things about us that aren't true. 
yep. because they've been told it through a narrative about us being this evil place. So yep. it's it's brilliant. Yeah, and uh, every from every. Uh, let's get to Vicky Kershaw. I know this is going to be a real long review, and I apologize. Yeah, you are. You knew from the fact of the time. You always know whether we like the film or not. <laughs> but did you know who originally was supposed to be the uh, the lead in this? No. It's your fun. Oh wow. Yerfan was originally supposed to be the lead in this film. This because this film was, I think, over a decade in the making. I think, um, and it's touched. he's the only one I would say could pull it off better than Vicky. Yeah, absolutely. and not even better. That's I think, not even the right word. I think somebody who would do it different and equally as good. Because uh, even in Vicky, if you're if you have me seeing this, what I'm about to say sh should be as big of a compliment as I intended to be. Irfan wouldn't have surpassed you. He could have equaled you. I don't think anyone would have surpassed you. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he was originally supposed to be it, which obviously would have been incredible. But, of course, the late Irfan. God rest bless in him. peace. You phenomenal actor. He would have been a dude. beautiful, uh, beautiful. Incredible. But, but Vicky. Vicky I, did, I, I, did ev every bit as good as Irfan I would have I keep done. sleeping on Vicky. Whoa. He, no. <laughs> no. No, because, like, I'll put out my list of, like, the best actors in India. And he'll, he'll probably, I think he'll normally make it like the top 10. Um, but man, everything we've seen him in, he's been so good. And he's very versatile. He he's is. He's incredible. Like, what do we, I think we first saw him in Uri, right? That was our first exposure was Uri. And I was like, okay, him. so he's a military guy, right? right. But no, you see Masan. That was right. That's, that's what really showed us this guy's a thespian. Raman Raghav 2.0. And I think there's one other thing. And then this. This is the creme de la creme of Vicky, I feel. Uh, without uh, question. And even though I can't perfectly, like, pinpoint if his accent was right, but it was so good to me. So good to me. I believed it 100%. And I was paying attention for him to slip, especially when he got emotional in the court. I was, ex I was listening for two things from him. I was listening for either a slip in the accent or a greater mastery of English than this character has, because Vicky can speak English well. Of course. And he never slipped. Yeah. He never slipped, and yeah, I mean, I, I can't pray. I think he had one moment that I was almost a header monologue that when he was talking yeah, to the drunk, the drunk man. man. I, the header went exactly through my mind. I was like, this is a great scene, well written scene. He he did it perfectly. He showed, and and from his transition from the beginning, he didn't talk. I think for a long time in the beginning, it was almost like a, um, but you you felt for him a lot of times, and then I at the end. It was, that's a hard thing to, because it's not a lot of dialogue there in the yeah. last 45 minutes. Yeah. It's mostly just him trying to process what the fuck just happened. And depending on how they film that sequentially, very, very difficult for an actor, especially if they did, and my suspicion is a lot of it was out of sequence because he, they had to have done things based on the number of people they had available. So they couldn't, you know, they couldn't have everybody laying in the place and do that scene and then have him run out and go over here and then come back and they'd all be there. They had to do all of the scenes with the people's bodies first, mm -hmm. which meant it was filmed out of sequence, which meant Vicky had to have already pre-planned through his script and through the shooting schedule where he was gonna be without prejudging, without preparing. That's freaking crazy difficult as an actor yeah. to keep your character on that uh, arc he's supposed to go through. Yeah and film it out of sequence in something this tragic and traumatic for you, yeah. it's, it's, it's about as difficult an acting job yeah. as anybody can have with no lines. And at the end, yeah, you do hardly any dialogue. <laughs> Unbelievable. But uh, obviously, it's one of like the greatest pieces of cinema, especially that, yeah, last, that last 45, 45 minutes. minutes, is just something that it, it, uh, everybody involved with that should be extremely proud. And it doesn't get better than it's, that. It's gonna be hard it doesn't to, get better for you to get better than that. Um, I thought, yeah, him at the end, and even though at the end I would have liked the shots flipped. Which ones? Well, when he was oh, at the, the Golden Temple. Oh, the ones? And, well, yeah, the Golden Temple when shot, he, which I loved. I thought that was No, amazing. I thought it was great. I would like that, because I wanted the last shot to be the pull-up. With the bodies. With the bodies. I agree. It I thought very, that was a stronger shot. It was a stronger I shot. I liked, I loved him in the Golden Temple and bathing, because I thought there was a lot of symbolism S there. Great acting by him. But I, I think I would prefer that and then pull up on the on the people I mean, it's who's who am i to judge right Shoot exactly it. but that's just <laughs> that's a little no, you know what I, I, I like i like because the pull up was with him there and i think yeah. i think i like that choice because it, it takes back it takes us back to the importance of this being the 
the Punjabi experience. Yeah. And we, we got told when we were at the Golden Temple yeah. how important it is for, for Sikhs to, to, bathe to bathe in, in the Golden water. Temple. I mean, we saw that, men and women yeah. bathing in that What water. that means, especially at that time with what he just went through. Uh, and the, the acting performance he gave in those, what, the minute that yeah. scene was. And this something just occurred to me, which I could forget, and I don't want to. Um, if we could somehow, in the next six months, get a groundswell and use this film as part of it, and got a petition or something, Boris Johnson needs to come <laughs> to Amritsar on April 13th of 2022, and he needs to go into that walled area and he needs to kneel, and he needs to officially apologize for what happened. Should he? Yes, will he? No. There needs to be a petition, and it needs to be a groundswell that's done from people who are British citizens. And it's, it's, it's way overdue, and it needs to be done, and it needs to be done that way. And anything less than that is insincere and not respectful of the thousands of innocents that were massacred there for no reason. Yep. Um, I totally agree. Uh, a couple of the points I wanted to, to get to here, because everything was so good. This is going to be a real long uh, 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 <laughs> review. The set design. Gorgeous. It's absolutely incredible. Perfect. Another reason spending money pays off. Because uh, these sets, because I'm pretty sure a few of them were probably sets they built, but I think a lot of them were location. They filmed on location, do you think? Especially the stuff oh, I guarantee. And I'm having a thought right now based on what you're saying, and it's true. I, I would say if, if I'm talking to a Westerner who loves film, and they said, what should I watch? What Indian film should I watch to really show me that they don't just do Bollywood stuff? <laughs> that. Yeah. And it's going because to... Because it's, it's so top level in set design, costume design, it, score, it's acting, gonna kind story... Of... I think you used it in the last award. Um, what would you say? It's the, the shatter. Like you, you kept saying something for each of your your things. It's a groundbreaking film that shatters the. I think you said groundbreaking a lot. Okay. Yeah, I think you said groundbreaking. The quintessential. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I like um, quintessential. I but like <laughs> everything about it feels Hollywood in terms of the quality. The quality in terms of money put in. Like it looks detail. Money was spent. Yeah. Uh, that's essentially what I the mean. The number when you see when you see a scene that should have a lot of people there and it's heavily populated with people, you know that was a lot of time and money to costume those people, get that background people. When you do a massacre of thousands but it's shot small to make you feel like you're intimate. But you know they did it because they couldn't get that many people yeah. there. Well, when the director says, you want to know what? And pulls back and you see a few thousand people. You're like, oh, epic film, and epic budget. So then they're, they're not going to have the, the jarring of like, this doesn't feel like something familiar, right? Uh, and so that, that's great. So I thought the production team and, of course, once again, the cinematographer, the editing Everything. The Everything. score, I thought, was beautiful and, and, and assisted the film. Beautiful. Uh, and also didn't have it for, for a few times that kind of let you sit in the moment, which is something I feel like with stuff like Schindler's List or, or Hacksaw or whatever, yeah, these know. things that are supposed to make you feel, yep. sometimes no score is better because you have to sit yes. in what you're feeling. Yes. Um, and sometimes, obviously, the score is great. And this, this whole, you. you said it earlier, this entire team, anyone, Casting directors, costuming, craft services, man. White Not people. kidding. If you were involved in this film, you should be proud that you contributed to this collaborative effort of what is absolutely as good as movie yeah. making gets. Uh, the nitpicks I would have in this would be, uh, I would have changed those scenes at the end, but oh, screw me <laughs> for, for doing that right. Um, uh, if just a few white actors, few white actors. just show, showed their evil faces, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was few and far between. It was Most fun of them to see a white right. actor get assassinated, wasn't it? Was, it? it was nice. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, and then I think you probably could have edited maybe about 15, 20 minutes, make it a little more crisp. <laughs> that's fine. Um, but other than that, that's really all I, I wouldn't have. have changed a frame. I thought the um, runtime was great. And I would not have an issue sending this to the Oscars. I would be very excited. I can make arguments for this, and I can make arguments for The Great Indian Kitchen. Those are the two that I am currently okay with sending to the Oscars this year, for very different reasons, very different films, as we know. Very, <laughs> very different This films. one would give somebody like, 
whoa, India's making this grand and that's why I would scope pick this of a one. film. Yeah, the, and the, obviously, they both have the important factor. It is, because they have the important factor. And the great thing about Great Indian Kitchen, we've talked about it in that review, was it would show people that Indian cinema actually has really incredible artists doing thespianatic work that's Oscar level. Telling important stories. Telling important stories on an intimate level that are putting a mirror up to their own country. Yep. Then you have this mm -hmm. that's doing everything we just said. So yeah. I, I, if either one made it, if I'll tell you this, if it's not either one of those, Ooh. we're gonna be really angry. I mean, if it's Mimi, it's a great film. Great film, but come on. <laughs> No, Come don't on. don't send Mimi, please. <laughs> Watch Mimi if you're if you're an American. Fun film. Yeah. But no, they, they're the only two that currently, obviously, we have what two or three months left in the yeah, year. We got some time left. But this is the only two films I'm currently okay with. Even though there's films like Joji and 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 uh, well, another Fafa ones that have come out this year. Beautiful. That are great films. Beautiful but films. I think yeah. The two best currently are this one. Agreed. And and Great, great Indian, Indian Kitchen. Kitchen and. Uh, I don't know. I, I, even though this is a long review, I still feel like we haven't said enough about this film. And that's how good it is. <laughs> yep. This, you can talk about it a long, long time. And most especially... And that's what great cinema it, does. You can, yeah. yeah, you can talk about the importance. And they got the history right. You know, because I said that before. My concern was, are we telling a, a historical uh, thing and are you going to re revise it? How yep. much? And they, they didn't. No. no. I, I looked it up. They didn't. There was no songs. There was no dance numbers. Obviously, I would, I would probably be pretty upset if something like that happened. can't overstate the just perfection of how they told the story. Yeah. Little things like when we finally learn some things about him, rather than it be backstory that we took 35 minutes to learn about his life, it was the British guys interrogating him, and he's telling him, okay, here's what we know thus far. He did this and worked in a mill, and then we show him working in there for a few seconds. And then yeah. he did this, and we showed this real quick, and like, oh, so here's the backstory. Yeah. Cool, we're getting that now. Just brilliant. Yeah, and at the end, I, I said it on Twitter, I want, I want a film as gruesome as this, but told about uh, either the, great, the, the, the Churchill made yeah, the famine, the famine in Bengal, uh, and slash, or the partition. Uh, both deserve Schindler's List style. They of deserve this. This style yeah. of yeah. not, and I know there's been some that have been made, uh, probably a bunch of films that have been made about the partition, but I want one that depicts the gruesome, horrific, uh, like almost um, the blood, like I want everything that it's had in the last 45 minutes, maybe times 10 even. And, and I know it's a hard watch for people to sit through and it's not as engaging and entertaining and fun as like Squid Games, right? Yeah. But Squid Games is gonna make a billion dollars. It's just like, or they're projecting 800 million from now. And it, it's, that's wonderful. Yeah. But do everything you can, you beautiful, stupid family who loves cinema. This is the kind of film that needs to be shared. More people should watch it. Amazon should be rewarded for what they did in investing in this because the more money this, this is where box office matters. Because when the box office goes, not $50 million to schlock that I trust from somebody else who saw the, the Halloween Kills films, but goes to this film that Amazon's gonna look and go, okay, we need to make more films like that. And people are gonna hire uh, Shujit for more directing of films like this. And Vicky's gonna get more scripts like this. And we'll see more things in pre-production like this. Yep. So go share this with everybody. Uh, I hope you stick around. 45 minutes, I guess? I, I don't know. Probably we'll see. Guess. Uh, I'm but... guessing 37 minutes is the final time on this. <laughs> Let us know what you <laughs> thought about this film. Uh, and I hope you're still not here if and you if haven't you, watched it. But and, if you are here... And if you, you didn't like it, then... Yeah, you're, you're, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs>